While near at 4 o'clock, a school crossing guard in Louisville is proving that you can't put an age limit on helping others. Our Caroline Vandergriff is on your corner, in your corner, to introduce you to the woman who started the city's program six decades ago and is still on the job today. Every morning. Thank you. And every afternoon. Thank you. Pat Stone goes back and forth, back and forth with her stop sign. Thank you. To make sure students can get to and from school safely. You're doing all right? Yeah. Good. No matter the weather. If the kids go to school, I can go to work. I got a raincoat and a hood and galoshes, boots and everything. And I can stop cars. Stone's not afraid to step into the traffic. I don't use bad language, but I do tell them to stop. Or reprimand a parent in the pickup line who blocks the crosswalk. $500 is the first part of the fine. So always stay until that crosswalk is clear. It's partly her nature. I was fearless to begin with. And partly her experience. February 27th, I turned 90. The 89-year-old started Louisville's crossing guard program in the 1960s. Stone was a Girl Scout leader at the time. One of the mothers said, I am worried about our kids walking to school because everything was bar ditches, no sidewalks, gravel street. So she went to the city's police chief with her concerns. And he told me to go home tend to my kids. So I went to the highway patrol. A state trooper eventually came out to show Stone and a few other women how to make their own signs and stop cars. I'm just hard headed. When I wanted it done, I wanted it done. We had decided we were going to do it. And when we a woman decides she's going to do it, she does it. Stone's been a part of the program for nearly 60 years now. Let's go. Working on and off in between other jobs and raising her own children. I like to be busy and I like to work with the kids. She's become a constant fixture in their lives. Y'all have a good day. Dispensing encouragement and advice. Keep it that way for a few days and it'll do all right. It's evident how much she cares. So if I wanted to be a crossing guard, what would be the best piece of advice you could give me? You gotta like them. Today they're small, tomorrow they're frown. The next day they'll cry. And she plans to be there the next day. You say hello to sister for me. And the day after that. Woo! To get the job done. I don't want no car to get you. In Louisville. Okay, bye-bye. Caroline Vandergriff, CBS News, Texas. What a great story. Thanks to Caroline for that.